Hello everyone, welcome to Bee's Cocina. Today I'm going to be doing a taco recipe on the pressure cooker. All you need to get is maybe ground beef from Walmart or from wherever. We normally get ours from Costco. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna saute <coughs> and brown your meat. I love using these from Dollar Tree to basically just um, get, the, um, get the meat all broken up. So you can see almost everything in there and for the meat to be more tenderized. I don't like big lumps and I don't think my daughter Genesis like big lumps so we're going to make sure that we brown the, the ground beef and this is how it should be looking. And then we are going to add some um, some condiments to it, but not before the meat is completely brown. So let's go do that, because that's what we're going to need to do. Brown the meat. So we're browning the meat and your meat is going to be brown but it's also going to release some juices um, basically like water from the meat what you're going to do is we're going to make sure that we remove all that water that's collected in there so let's try to do that um, I'm going to try to see if this is going to show. I'll show you. It's like this. And then there's all that water that is deposited. Um, what I normally use to uh, make the meat, remove that water from the meat, is use a paper towel. We use the Kirkland one from Costco. All you have to do is just go around the pan. And remove as much of the oil as possible or whatever residue is on it. And once you're done with that, we're going to stop the sauteing function on the top pot. This is the quick uh, power trick pot. I got this at a Sands Club, like literally maybe like five, six years ago. So it's been a while. Now what we need to do is, actually I still see a little bit more water, the pot that they are or grease or whatever it is. Um, this is um, a quick process, but if you do this, all that greasy stuff is gonna go away, so that's what you want. Because you're gonna season your meat and you want all the seasoning to go straight into the meat. Okay, now we can get started on the ingredients that we need. Let me try to stop this. The thing is that I put enough meat for Genesis and myself because my husband is have a salad, so there's really that much meat. But Here we go. Some people might say it's a lot of seasoning, but it is what it is. The more stuff that you put in it, the more flavor your, your beef is going to have. So let's go do that. Okay. There's no need to see my face because this is what you're going to. <laughs> We're here for the recipe, so let's go do this. Okay, first, uh, what I like to do is I like to put chopped onion from Costco. Um, this is dehydrated one, so you can put as much as you want to. I like to put a lot. 
and you can put some wor some Worcestershire sauce. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but if you know, you know. This is the Hain ones, and I really, really like it. So I put and I just eyeball everything. I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic in here. Let me see if I find the other garlic that I have. Normally buy this big jug of garlic, but it's hard to pour into things. So I pour it into this little one that actually uh, I recycle from other. So let's do this. Garlic. You can put a little bit of pepper in here. That's black pepper. I bought the one from Costco. So that's always good. What else do we have here? I like to put my own sofrito, and if you haven't seen the recipe, just look into it and you'll find it in my website. I mean, my, in, my, in my videos. My sofrito is always ready and available, so I'm gonna put like two or three spoons of sofrito in there. Let's get a clean spoon for that purpose. Okay, here we go one and two and that is going to give it so much flavor to uh, our meat i know we put a lot of condiments but that's just the way it is and we can leave behind a chicken cube the north chicken cube which if you know you know is the one that i normally buy at walmart and you can get it in a 24 pack. I use it pretty much, so you know, it's the same thing, it comes into 24 packs. So that's Nord, I love it, and I'm always using it. So I put a whole chicken cube on it, and that is part of the. Then we actually, I try to smash it in there, so. The whole meat consumed the whole thing. And this can take you up to 10 minutes after, after browning the meat. Just put, putting everything in there. Okay. We definitely going to need some taco seasoning from Costco. I, we, we buy the big one. I know to put one or two spoon into it and that's basically what we're gonna do. Let's get a fresh spoon for that purpose. What I like about this is this already have a, a spoon measurement so you can actually get in there. Okay, let's see. Taco seasoning. Here we go. One and two. There we go. And I got a fresh spoon. So this is how it should look once you're done with everything. The only thing that's missing is a little bit of one bay leaf, one or two bay leaf, to give it an extra flavor and the water that you're going to put in there. We have a bailey right here, and that should be good enough for that purpose. Now we have our ground beef that is going to be just perfect for, for the tackle. Once you get that going, you know, tackles should be as simple as cutting some lettuce, tomatoes, or whatever it is that you need to make it work. So. I want all those meat in there. I don't want anyone to be left behind. Let's try to scrape everything out of it. Okay, now what I recommend you guys doing is putting two cups of water, and I'm going to do that now. Two cups of water. Once I put the water in, I'm gonna put it to pressurize for 40 minutes because I want my meat to be tenderized. Normally, uh, ground beef will actually um, 
take like 30 minutes, but I like it a little bit more tender. So I'm going to put that water in there and then you have the water that is in there. And you can see that all the condiments are there. If you wanna go a little extra mile, I definitely recommend you maybe adding a little bit of turmeric because I love adding turmeric to it. Or you can even put a little bit of tomato paste. I am not gonna do that because it's already have enough flavor on it. But turmeric, I do like it because it's anti-inflammatory and if you have inflammation in your feet like I do, I love putting turmeric because this can help your joints, um, inflammation and it helps everything else. So, and it also gives a little bit more color to the tacos. So I really, really like it. So now I put two cups of water in there and now all I have to do is put it to pressurize and that shouldn't be that hard. We're gonna go and we're gonna put it in here. And I, I have the Power Quick Pot and next is going to be to close it. And next we're going to put, we're going to, we're going to um, click pressurize. Let me move this out a little bit so you can see better. Pressurize, right? So we're gonna pressurize here. Let's cancel this first. Pressurize. We're gonna click beef from the menu. And you can do it in any pressure cooker. I have a power quick pot. Um, and then you can put pressurize and click twice. And you can also change the time. So I'm gonna put 40 minutes for it because that's the thought I like. And then you can just hit again. Then, okay. Pressurize, uh, okay, hold on. Let's start that again. because. Okay, you can do pressurize, you can put beef, right? And then you can put time, which is gonna change it here before you double click again. So this is, there it is, 40 minutes, and I'm gonna hit the center, and once it turns orange, it's already going, so. But I'll show you guys again what I do. Basically, you hit pressurize here, then you go into beef, then you're gonna hit time, because I, I want more than just 30 minutes. I want 50, 40 minutes in my pressure, uh, pr pressure cooker. And once those, uh, once those uh, 40 minutes are done, what I do is I actually, sorry, I actually put a little bit of flour. It could be any flour. I normally use the great value of flour, so you don't even have to, um, um, the all-purpose flour. All you have to do is one or two spoons um, because you're gonna have a lot of liquid left. So definitely you have to um, add that once it's done. And then that hot water is going to um, help with that, um, help with the, with the liquid becoming more um, thick. And once that becomes thicker, then it's going to be like a little saucy, almost like Taco Bell. And that's how I make my taco seasoning for my crop. Well, this is like a pressure cooker crop pot. Or you can make it in your crop pot, which it could take eight hours. You just have to put it in there and forget about it. By the time you come home, it's already done. But it's great because what you can do is just put the flour towards the end of it. And that is... Um, simple easy it should take you less than 10 minutes to do but it's going to produce a very good and tasty um taco seasoning i know that i'm using taco seasoning already but i also like to put my own latino flavor into it if you want you can also put a little bit of double goja in there seasoning too um the sky's the limit i like to put a little bit of everything in there so i did put a chopped onions on it I put uh, the Worcestershire sauce, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing it correctly, but you know, you know. Um, I did put my own sofrito in there, maybe two spoons of it. Um, some chicken cubes, some chicken cubes from uh, Walmart. And I also put the bay leaf in there. 
Um, I also put the taco seasoning. I think I already said that. I put a little bit of turmeric. I normally get this at um, Ross, so that's where you should be getting it from. What else do we have? And maybe a little bit of cracked pepper. But I, I just, everything, I just look at it and I just put it in there. Believe me, you can never make this wrong. If you want it to, um, you can always taste it towards the end of it. And if you feel that it's missing something, um, because I put it like for five more minutes after I put the flour in, that's just for everything to consume better. You can put whatever it is, if you need salt or whatever, you can taste it to taste and whatever tastes better for you, that's the, that's what you should be doing. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's a quick video of how to do your tacos on your pressure cooker, or you can even do it in your crock pot. I mean, it's simple, it's easy. You can do it in less than 10 minutes and leave it, forget about it, and it will be done. Only thing you have to do is at the end, add a little bit of flour, one or two spoon of flour. It depends how thick you like it. I like two, one and a half spoon to two spoon of flours, and that's just my taste. But you can make the sauce as thick or as, thick or as, um, or as uh, uh, liquidy as you like it. So definitely. Anyway, guys, if no one tell you, you're special just the way you are. I'll see you next time on Beast Cocina, and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.